Alright, so I have some uh, Shinko. See that Shinko? Uh, these are the 241s, I believe. Shinko 241s. Size, uh, see that? Size 2, 2 and 3 quarters by 17. 2 and 3 quarters by 17. So Shinko, and you go on the website, Shinko says to, that this tire, it says, uh, not for extended highway use, and I just came back from work uh, in a 40 mile commute. Oh, well, it cooled down enough already. So, so basically, the center here, and this tire is brand new. I just put it in, and you see how warm the center is already just on one ride. Uh, and the center here is like really soft because it was, you know, from, from the pavement. And over here on the side, it's a lot harder. Um, so yeah, so definitely this this tire is not for um, not for highway use for sure. Uh, at least not long, you know. At least not on my commute, you know, 40 miles on the uh, on the pavement, anyways. So I don't see this tire is gonna be lasting very long if I keep on doing that. They kind of shred it too. Actually, the, this uh, this knob on the bottom here, all of them looks like all kind of shredded. That's from let's see, that's from braking. Because if you're going, if you're, if you're driving, I mean this edge up here, this is the uh, fighting edge here. If it's in, on, you know, under power, but and this edge here is the, the breaking edge. The bottom, this edge here would be the bottom, uh, the breaking edge. And all of them is kind of shredded already. Wow, that's that's pretty interesting. Uh, so anyway, so this, I guess, like I said, this tire is brand new. This is the first time I've actually ridden it. Um, Look at the front. The front is also the front's also brand new as well. The front's you know it's it's all intact. Everything looks good. It's you know, the tender is a little bit soft. You no, know, they're all pretty even. Soft is why they're all pretty even. They all feel, feel about the same. Uh, and this is all nice and squared and nothing I mean nothing looks wrong here because you know it's not under power so it doesn't get shredded up like the uh, the rear tire does. The rear tire is pretty shredded up. So that's uh, that's interesting. That's good to know right there. So again, these are the Shinko, uh, I think 241s, I believe. Yeah, right here. Shinko, I'm not sure you guys can see that. Shinko 241s, SR 241s. Um, again, on the Shinko website, they say that these tires are not, uh, not for extended highway use. So basically, not too long on the road, or or you do or you go on the road. You have to basically go slow. You can go fast. And you know, this bike is pretty slow. It's not that fast, but I was doing uh, you know 45, 50 or so miles an hour, up to like 50. Actually, I got up to like 58 or 59 indicated, going down the going down the hill, steep hill. Um, so I'm not sure when this occurred. Um, so this is the braking edge, so it's neither on my mountain driving on my commute or or the dirt riding I did when I went to work today. Uh, I went, um, I took a dirt, a dirt uh, um, route, the route I took, you know, had dirt in it, off, you know, not off road, but like a dirt road. And on the way home, I just took the pavement, a uh, different route. So that's how it looks. Let's see, if I'm give an angle. Yeah, the sun is kind of bright, so it's kind of hard to see. Uh, but anyways, um, yeah. So just to let you all know about these tires, um, I'm still testing tires, messing around with tires. These tires are. Um, no, I actually have full full pressure. The Honda's recommended pressure, 25 in the front and. Uh, 33 in the back and in the dirt these tires were slipping all over the place uh, slipping and sliding all over the place uh, because you know it was the full 33 psi what I should have done was I should have left it at 30 psi instead that would have been a lot better even though it's only 3 psi difference it makes a difference um, so anyways uh, yeah I'm still messing with tires I want to maybe try some other tires as well uh, these tires seem to be okay you know, the size is two and a quarter by you know two and three quarters you know two point seven five 
seems to be okay. It's, you know, I don't have any rubbing like I did with the three three inch tires in here. Uh, so there's no rubbing in here, as far as I could tell. Um, let's see. As you can tell, the side it is rubbing. Look at the side right here. You can see it. This one, I don't see it at all. I don't see any indicators of rubbing at all on the tire. Um, so this 2.75 works good. Uh, prior to this, I had a 3 inch. Same 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 tire, but it was a 3 inch. And that one definitely rubbed. Uh, so 2.75 in the in the uh, rear and in the front I actually got a 2.5 in the front and where I put 2.5 in the front is basically I, I needed more clearance here so that way all the rocks and stuff it wouldn't just get in here so on that step right that I did this morning um, I didn't really hear any any rocks in here you know cranking around I'm pretty sure it bounced up in there but it was there's so much clearance here that it just bounced out was before when I was using uh, the 275 up in the, in the front here. It was tight enough where rocks are still bouncing around. Uh, not as bad as when I had a 3 inch up, up front. When I had a 3 up, inch up front, man, all the rocks were really, really bad. There was like hardly any clearance at all. Was, there was like maybe a quarter inch of clearance or, or possibly even less than that. And rocks would just go in there and, and you hear the. <laughs> In the duck as yes, the top rocks went through it, you hit the, <laughs> in the, the grinding sound. Then when it went with the 275, that was less, and with the two and a half, I didn't hear any grinding sound at all whatsoever. Uh, you know, if you clink, 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 hear it, but you know, that's to be expected because this is a metal fender, but, uh, but I didn't hear any grinding sound, so so that's what I'm at right now. Uh, two and a half in, in the, the uh, front, and two and 2.75 in the rear, two and three quarters. Uh, as far as as far as uh, how it runs, you know, with the the size, the diameter, uh, this two and three quarters actually surprisingly works okay. You know, now I'm a lightweight and I didn't, I wasn't carrying nothing really, um, so uh, so on pavement it, it felt fine, it felt okay. It, you know, it didn't feel sluggish like like when I had the three inch in the back. Man, with the three inch in the back, the back felt really sluggish. But with this uh, 275, 2.75, it doesn't uh, feel sluggish, so it feels okay. In the dirt, it feels a little bit, uh, it feels a little bit tall on the gearing. So in the dirt, it could, you know, it could either be a smaller tire, either say a two and a half, or maybe gear the uh, the rear sprocket up one teeth or so, and it'll probably be okay. Um, what the teeth spec was on this. I think it was a 39. The stock size is I believe a 39 tooth. But anyways, um, uh, yeah. So, so the setup so far, this setup is the best uh, tire setup I I have so far compared to all the other ones I've tried as far as sizing goes. So, uh, so I'm still not sure if I want to keep the 275 in the back or not. I think I might and just just uh, put in a one tooth larger. Uh, Sprocket in the uh, the rear. That way, I could get the better dirt gearing for dirt on the street. The way it is right now, it feels fine. It feels okay. Nothing wrong with it. On the dirt, again, it's a little bit on the tall side. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's the update for now. I need to start doing other stuff to this bike, adding because I have a bunch of stuff. Like I need to light and all this other stuff. But.